Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to have a look at Dolly new features for image editing that we can use to generate textures. So here I have a photo I took with my phone and another that was made seamless with standard Dolly image editing. This was based on the tutorial by Stan Brown where he generates seamless textures from a photo. So a lot of people had access to Dolly recently including me, and I thought it, this was a good time to spend the free credits with the new image editing tools. After uploading the image, you want to drag this square to the sides of the texture, but keep some of the original image, so the AI can mimic the pattern. Then enter a simple prompt like Stonewall Seamless Texture. You will get 4 different variations to choose from. I'm just going to finish this all around the texture and make sure I get a, a square output, in this case a 2K texture. Now in Photoshop you can see that we have some seams, so let's go back to Dolly, delete the seams and generate a new output. As some parts of the generated texture are a bit too flat, I am adding a texture to it. Now just getting rid of some issues. And we need to offset again the texture to check the seams. Back to Dolly, we need to get rid of the seams. We just need to remove some inconsistencies and it should be good to go. Now you can try to create a PBR material in Photoshop, but I'm going to use Sampler and its image to material feature to generate all the textures. This is also covered and with a lot more detail in the Stan Brown video if you want to check it out. But basically I am going to make sure to enable preserve tiling and change a few settings after the textures are generated. I will just tweak the roughness and also remove some of the, the lighting effect. And finally just export out the textures, in this case I chose the Arnold preset. In Maya I connected all the textures to a material and added some subdivisions and displacement height to the wall geo. And as you can see it works pretty well, maybe we could reduce a bit the details in the displacement, but overall I think the result from Dolly is pretty good. And you can always generate the texture itself from Dolly and edit the texture from there. I know I spend a few credits, but maybe in the future it becomes cheaper to, the, to do this kind of work. Ok, thanks for watching and see you next time where we probably going to return to Bifrost. Bye bye.